going to be doing a tutorial um, on this very neutral look today featuring the L'Oreal the palette nude one just to kind of get a feel for it um, see how the colors blend all that kind of stuff so you know I have used this palette a couple times but I've created some different looks and I just wanted to share one with you guys so yeah if you like this look or you're interested in this palette then definitely stick around and we'll see you after the tutorial bye all right today guys I'm gonna go in and start with by start with by priming I'm gonna start by priming my eyes with my Lorac behind the scenes eye primer I'm trying to use a pretty I don't want to say bad eye primer but a pretty basic eye primer that's not gonna cover up any discoloration because I want to see how these shadows really perform throughout the day. Now I'm going to go in with my NYX um, Wonder Pencil in Light and just carve out my eyebrows. I do this just to kind of brighten up the base. It kind of covers up any, you know, random hairs I might have missed. I'm going to take a flat shadow brush and just blend that out. Now I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Le Nude Palette 1, and I'm going to go in with the lightest shade right over here. And I'm just going to take a No Name Fluffy Brush. I'm just going to blend that out all over the eye. I'm going in with this shade right here, which is like a matte, kind of beigey gray, almost. And that same fluffy brush, I'm going to take that and just start placing that as my transition. Alright, now going in with a BR250, and then this matte shade right here, um, which is the second darkest matte shade in the palette. This one really reminds me from Limit from Naked 3, but this one's also really pretty. We're going to take that, and we're going to take, kind of flatten the brush out, and really work that in our crease. I'll bring it all the way to the inner corner, but work it about three-fourths of the way in. What I'm going to do is take the brush that comes in the palette and pick up this really pretty kind of silvery taupe color right there. And I'm going to wet the brush with a little bit of the e.l.f. Lock and Seal. And then we're going to place this on the outer portion of the lid. And now just taking another flat shade of brush and this light, um, really kind of shimmery pink color. Again, I'm going to wet that with the e.l.f. Lock and Seal. I'm going to just place that on the inner corner, or inner portion of the lid, and blend that into that silvery taupey color. And now I'm just going back in with that color that we used all over the brow, and the same brush, we're just going to place this right on the inner corner. All right, now taking a pencil brush and the darkest matte brown in the palette, we're just going to kind of create a V shape in the outer corner. You just kind of want to place the shadows there. You don't really want to do anything with them. Just place them right about there. With the BRC S08, which is just a fluffy or crease brush, we're just going to kind of blend that out in circular motions and bring it up. We're not going to bring it over, but we are going to bring it out. Out and up. Alright, I'm not really digging that taupe so much with the matte colors in here. So, just to kind of warm that up a little bit, I'm going to go in with this really pretty um, kind of goldeny silver brown. It's got some kind of, some a uh, little bit of gold in there. And I'm just going to place that right over the taupe just to warm it up a little bit. Just dry. the fun thing with eyeshadows. If something's not working for you, you can just go back and change it up. All right now with that matte brown and that same little shadow brush, that deep dark matte brown, sorry, and the same little shadow brush that comes in the palette, we're going to take just a little bit and we're going to start um, kind of defining our lower lash line. I'm just going to run this right along the lash line. And now going in with that first transition color, and again, the BRCS08, we're going to just kind of smoke it out a little bit, blow it out. Alright, now for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with my Rummel Scandalize and Nude and just line the lower waterline. Alright, 
All right, I'm gonna use something I haven't used in a while today for liner. I'm gonna go in with my Studio Gear and Invincible Onyx, and this is just a BH Cosmetics fine liner brush. All right, now I'm just gonna throw on some mascara and we should be done, I think. All right, guys, for our um, lower lash stay, I'm using my Maybelline Lash Discovery. And for my upper lashes today, I'm going to be doing my Maybelline Lash Sensational. The eyes are done, so we're going to go ahead and do the rest of the face. All right, for contour today, I'm going to use my e.l.f. contouring brush and my NYX HD Blush in Taupe. And I just uploaded a, like, favorite drugstore contouring products video, which I'll link down below. I'm going to take that. I'm just going to create a line, just like that. See that? I don't do a real heavy contour. I like it to be natural. My head's so big, nobody will believe it anyway. And then once I place that product there, I just like to go back and go up and down with it to blend it out. My Elf Baked Bronder, Baked Bronder, my Elf Baked Bronder in Bronzer in Los Cabos. I'm just gonna go right up around my forehead, down my cheeks a little bit. All right, for blush today, I'm gonna to go in with Elf's um, Peachy Keen and my um, BRC S25, yeah, um, angled blush brush. I'm starting to remember the names. I think I need a cookie. This is just a very, very light, natural peach blush. It just adds a lot of, uh, not a lot of color, but a, a subtle hint of color to my face without being over the top, which I like. And for highlighter today, I'm going to go in with my um, Baked Bronzer from um, Hard Candy and Tiki, and I'm just using that same angled blush brush. Take just a little bit. Lips today, I'm going to start off by using my Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Rose Crush. I'm just going to line and fill in my entire lip. And to top that off, I'm going to go in with my new Perfusion Lip Luster in Purr, or Feline Lip Luster in Purr. I found these at Walgreens for a dollar. They're pretty impressive, guys. It's a little too peachy for me, so I'm going to go back in with another color and just add it on. And it's going to be the Feline Lip Luster in Whiskers, which is a really pretty kind of berry color. The finished look using the new um, La Palette Nude one from L'Oreal. I really like it. Um, I've used this uh, this palette a couple of times, and I really like the look it creates. It's a softer palette. It's not quite as dramatic or extreme. So I like that. Pretty much, when you reach for this palette, any look you're going to create is going to be soft and pretty and natural. So I mean, you can definitely vamp it up a little bit, but for the most part, you don't have to think about not going too dark with that palette which is very easy for me to do sometimes. So yeah, I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, then definitely give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, then subscribe. And as always, you guys have an amazing day and we will see you next time. Bye.